Welcome back to WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable PancakeSwap on Trust Wallet. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also, press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming update from us. Now, let's get started. Tap open Trust Wallet app from the app drawer. Make sure that you're logged into your Trust Wallet account. You can easily use decentralized application like PancakeSwap on Trust Wallet. Before that, you can just enable this DApps browser option on Trust Wallet. If you've not enabled that yet, go to Settings and tap on Preferences and select DApp Browser. Make sure that the button right next to Enable is turned on and you'll be able to add the DApp Browser on your Trust Wallet. In order to connect Trust Wallet to PancakeSwap, open up your DApps Browser. From the Options, select Pancake Swap. This will take you to this page right here. Tap on the Connect Wallet button in the upper right hand corner and tap on Trust Wallet option from the Wallet Connect. Now tap the Connect button on the next page and you have connected your Trust Wallet to Pancake Swap. In order to view your transactions on Trust Wallet, first tap Open Trust Wallet app from the app drawer. Make sure that you are logged into your Trust Wallet account and you are in the main home page you'll be able to see tokens that are added on your main wallet and trust wallet. Click on the cryptocurrency of your choice in the token section. Let me tap on BNB. You'll be able to see the transactions using that particular cryptocurrency on the next page. All of your transaction will appear here as it shows on the display. Since I don't have any kind of a transaction whatsoever, you cannot see my transactions, but if you have, you'll be able to see it right here on the screen. That is how you can easily view your transactions on Trust Wallet. In order to link Trust Wallet to MetaMask, follow the steps. Tap open your Trust Wallet app from the app drawer. Once you're logged into your account, tap on the settings button at the lower right hand corner. Now, tap on wallets at the top and press the three dots right next to your wallet. You'll be able to see show recovery phrase button. Tap on that and reveal your recovery phrase. But remember to never share your recovery phrases with anyone since you might lose your fund. Now tap on I understand the risk at the bottom and tap continue. Your recovery phrase will be shown in the display. Copy your recovery phrase by tapping on copy. Now simply go ahead and tap open your MetaMask application. If you don't have it downloaded yet, go visit your Play Store or your App Store and download the application and tap it open. The first interface of MetaMask will look like this. Tap on the Get Started button and tap on Import using Secret Recovery Phrase. Tap on I agree after going through what it has to say and right where it says Secret Recovery Phrase, you need to go ahead and type in the recovery phrases that you copied from Trust Wallet in the first text box. Now simply type in a new password into the text box beneath. You can type in any password of your choice. Confirm the password in the next field where it says confirm password. Make sure to type in the same password that you just created and finally tap on import. Once you do that, you'll be able to see that your trust wallet was imported to your MetaMask. By default, the wallet will be easy. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through how to add money to trust wallet. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming updates from us. If you want to add money to your trust crypto wallet, then tap open your trust wallet app first. Make sure that you're logged in and once you are, tap the buy button at the very top of the screen right under your main wallet. Soon after you do that, select the asset that you'd like to buy from the list displayed on the screen. There are basically two ways to deposit money to Trust Wallet. Either you'll need to receive a crypto from someone or you can start buying right away. Select the asset that you'd like to buy and give it a tap. For example, I'm gonna buy some Bitcoin. So let me give a tap on Bitcoin option over here. Simply go ahead and type in the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to purchase and it will show you the worth of Bitcoin that you can buy right under the amount that you've typed in just now. Now, select the third party provider right beneath you can go ahead and choose from Tranjack, MoonPay, Ramp and Simplex. Let me tap on Tranjack since it is showing me the best rate of Bitcoin. Now simply tap the next button at the bottom after you've chosen your third party provider. On the next page, tap on buy now and that is how you should be able to add money on your trust wallet. Some of you might want to remove a wallet from the Trust Wallet account. It's a very simple process to do so. Simply tap open your Trust Wallet application from the app drawer. 
and make sure that you're logged in first. From the main homepage of Trust Wallet, tap on the Settings button at the lower right hand corner. Now, from the Settings menu, select the First Wallet option at the very top. This will show all the wallets that are active on your Trust Wallet application. In order to delete an account, you must delete a wallet. Simply swipe your main wallet towards the left hand side, which will show up a delete button. Tap on delete in order to delete your wallet for Trust Wallet. Remember that the wallet will not be deleted forever and can be recovered anytime as long as you know your recovery phrases for the particular wallet. If you don't want this wallet anymore and you'd like to permanently delete the wallet, simply tap on the delete button in the pop-up. But if you want to use it in the future, then you must have a backup for your wallet. Once you tap on delete, you should see that you have landed in the main interface of Trust Wallet. If you know your recovery phrases for the previous wallet that you just deleted, you can simply tap on I already have a wallet and tap on the multi-coin wallet option, paste in the recovery phrases that you backed up and simply tap on import. That way you can get inside your wallet as well if you've deleted your wallet by mistake. That is how you can easily get rid of your wallet or delete your Trust Wallet account using your iPhone. I hope the tutorial was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you want to track price changes in your Trust Wallet app, then you can always enable price alert on your application. Tap open your Trust Wallet app and make sure you are logged into it. Once you are logged in, from the main wallet page, go to the settings button at the lower right hand corner. From the settings menu, you should see an option that says price alert. Give it a tap and enable the button right next to price alert on the next page. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to enable price alert even for a little bit of price change on your favorite cryptocurrencies. That is how it is easily done. Crypto users and investors must prioritize the safety of their cash. One of the most crucial parts of owning and investing in Bitcoin is the security of your crypto wallet. So in that case, there are many ways you can keep your crypto safe on Trust Wallet. Simply follow the steps to learn how. The first one is to back up your wallet. Tap open your Trust Wallet application and make sure that you're logged in first. To back up your wallet, tap on the settings button at the lower right hand corner and then tap the wallets option at the very top. Tap on the info button right next to the main wallet and tap on show recovery phrase in order to reveal your recovery phrases. When your recovery phrases is displayed on the screen, write down the 12 to 24 words, seed or recovery phrase in customary for backing up a crypto wallet. Simply copy the secret phrases and store it somewhere safe where no one will be able to get access to it. Make sure that you keep your recovery phrases safe so it doesn't get destroyed, thrown out or misplaced. Another thing to know is to never share your recovery phrases. Once you've backed up your wallet and securely stored your recovery phrases offline or somewhere no one will be able to get access to it. And you must never ever reveal your recovery phrases with anyone. Another way to keep your trust wallet safe is to simply go to the settings button in the lower right hand corner from the home page and from the settings menu, tap on security. Enable the app lock feature by tapping on the toggle button right next to it Enter a new passcode for your Trust Wallet. Re-enter your passcode one more time. You can set Auto Lock so that you can protect your account. Select the lock method by enabling passcode or passcode slash face ID option. You can also toggle on transaction signing button for protecting your account. What happens is that if you try opening up your Trust Wallet account, you'll be asked to enter your passcode once you enable the passcode option under your settings menu. Now, only you'll be able to get hold to your account since you're the only one who knows the passcode for your Trust Wallet. Those were some of the tips how you can easily keep your Trust Wallet safe. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos like this. Thanks for watching.